Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Hall. I am here, we are back together, and I am always so excited and happy to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had an amazing couple of days since I saw you last in Happy Monday Dollar Tree Hall. I do want to explain right out the gate, just in case there's any new people here, and just in case some of you may have not stayed until the end of Happy Monday Dollar Tree Hall to hear me explain why today I would be recording on my laptop I usually record on my husband's cell phone device that has great audio great visual um, and he is not with us for this duration of the week he has gone away on a business trip he is in Ohio so I don't have him for several days and my my heart and soul is kind of displaced at this moment I do not like being away from my husband at all and he's also my technical advisor in this journey of mine here on YouTube so I let you guys know on happy Monday Dollar Tree Hall that I would be recording I would be attempting to record on my laptop all by myself and trying to upload it on my own as well I'm hoping that this all works so um, it has been a very very long couple of days trying to get things situated him out to Logan Airport in the wee hours of the morning with little to no sleep because I'm sad about him going and it makes me incredibly incredibly uncomfortable to be away from my husband so Today, we're going to give this a shot, and I'm hoping that everything works out and that you guys will enjoy this happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul with me, and I always love being here with you. So I do want to get started. I have some great things that I can't wait to show you, so let's just hit it. Your girl over here really needed a little bit of pampering. I wanted to come home and take care of myself. I went to the Dollar Tree and I found myself some great smelling good shampoo. I absolutely love the shampoo choices for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. This is the one that I picked up that I have never tried before. I've tried the VO5 but I've never actually tried the Kiwi. So it is Kiwi Lime Squeeze. It smells incredible. I love the strawberries and cream, and I use that one all the time. But this is the one that I chose this time. This is a really, really great big bottle of shampoo. It's clarifying shampoo, which is good. And it's the power of five, five oils with vitamins, with five vitamins. It's 18 fluid ounces, and it smells absolutely fantastic. This right here is the conditioner, and this is the same, the Kiwi Lime Conditioner. This one is Detangle and Shine, and with Lemongrass Extract. Oh, that one has Lemongrass Extract as well. So both of these, I popped the top, I sniffed them, and they were magical. So I really want to take a good shower tonight before bed and try to calm myself down from being away from him and have a restful night because I've had three hours of sleep and I am thoroughly exhausted. I've tried to rest throughout the day, but I've just been waiting to hear from him all day from, you know, different points in his day to see how he's doing. Um, and I've just been spending time with my dog laying down, but I haven't fallen into any deep sleep around here. So then I went and I found some of these awesome new hair clips that I hadn't seen offered yet before. I'm really excited about them. They're really good for holding up my hair while I'm washing my face and just maybe even doing a mask in the shower just to kind of make sure my hair is back and clipped away. So I picked up this one right here. It's such a beautiful, beautiful blue color. I absolutely love the shape of it and the color of it. So it is a great brand right there that shows up often at the Dollar Tree. I really, really liked that. But then I found this one, and I think this one is even more my favorite. It's this pretty pink, almost like corally color, and I just think it's beautiful. I love the, um, like the woven look to it right there, and I love that it's like a a square because I have really thick hair, and um, I also have short hair now so it's nice to like do like a french twist up have some hair puffed out on the top and then see that beautiful clip in the back so i thought i'd do my hair pretty with that up when i wake up tomorrow use the other one for a shower clip 
I went ahead and found this great comb right here. I've never seen this. It is from the Sleek brand right there. And it says, I comb through it. That's a cool name to it. Hey, that all rhymed. I'm so silly. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't even mean to do that, but that's pretty Dr. Seuss-ish. <laughs> So I love it. I love it. I love the pink color to it. I love that there's like smaller little bristles, not bristles, but like combs over here and then a thicker side. So I, I'm hoping that goes through my hair really, really well. They did have a blue option as well, but I really liked the pink color and it matched my hair clip. So I kind of liked it as like a set. You know me and making things match and putting like baskets together. So while I was doing it, I was kind of thinking of that as well. I think that these products are really nice to kind of gather together to give to someone. But this time I got them for myself because the girl needs to just have a little bit of pampering time while puppy is away. And then I picked up myself a brand new hairbrush because the one I have, I've had for quite some time. And I really liked the blue color to go with the blue clip that I picked out for the shower. So this can be my shower brush. I have all kinds of little, um, little cups in there with the suction on the back that I adhere to the shower stall wall. And I hold like hair clips on it or elastics for the shower to pull my hair back if I need to, hair brushes, whatever I need to just do my full on spa treatment in the shower. And this is a nice blue brush if you can see, it has like the sparkles in it. It's really, really cute. I like the bristles and the width of the brush. So I think that that is marvelous. So I picked up myself that brand new hairbrush and that is just for the shower. I also, because my cleaning has, you know, started this past week and I'm starting to get back to work and cleaning, I needed some gloves and I haven't made it to one of the bigger stores yet to get a box of gloves. So these will suffice for now and I have used these before. This is a really good, this is Smart Care. They're clear vinyl gloves and there's 10 gloves in here. There's 10 of them. So that's really good for $1.25, honestly. One size fits most, and it's um, disposable gloves. So, and then has the little perforation right there that you can rip off, and then it will zip lock shut so that the rest of them can stay sanitized in the baggie until you have to use them. So I will use these for the time being until I can get a bigger box and have it in my supply stash in my car. So, oh my goodness, I do want to show you these books. I don't want to make it to the end and then have you not see these because I forgot them or something. I picked up this book right here and I was so excited. You know, one of my favorite parts of the store is the book section. I go to multiple, multiple Dollar Trees monthly. Um, on the weekends, I like to do Dollar Tree road trips and go to different ones outside of just my normal range and I found this book and I absolutely loved it. This is a paperback book but it's such a nice quality of a cover. This says journal through your wildest dreams. So I love this so much. This book went for, let me see if I can find the price, of course, um, the tag actually tore off the back while I was trying to rip it, but this book originally went for $18.95. I've somehow, someway lost the tag that I tried to keep on there because I tore it. Now inside of this, it says, journey through the wild paths within the pages to write, color, draw, and create. Let the words of dreams who dare to dream inspire and awaken your wildest you. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely, absolutely love this book so much. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a fantastic book absolutely amazingly wonderful so i just think it's so interesting i'll just show you some of the pages right here so that was a terrific 
find. I love the journals that randomly show up at the Dollar Tree. They make me so excited. I have so many different versions of journaling and letting out your feelings, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, writing down your bucket lists, you know, illustrating them, drawing them into the pages, scrapping within the pages. There has been so many journals that have come through that are way more than a dollar twenty-five outside of the Dollar Tree, and the Dollar Tree is so amazing for bringing us things that otherwise we would have to pay more for outside of there. Then I found this fantastic little paperback book. I was so interested to know what this was when I grabbed it. This one also went for eighteen dollars, um, and this book right here is so so cute. It says Tiny Gratitudes. It says, um, it says, true to size and full of color, miniature paintings of everyday objects to remind us that hope and gratitude are uh, constructed out of tiny moments, not grand gestures. These detailed paintings done in response are uh, reproduced next to small lists of relative of related things that the author is thankful for. So then it continues on from there. And within the pages of this thick, beautiful little book right here, I will flip it open and show you just one thing. So there's these little, small, teeny tiny illustrations on each and every single page. And I love tiny pictures. My son had such an addiction to drawing miniature versions of things when he was small and molding with clay and also with Play-Doh miniature figures when he was young. He absolutely was obsessed with it. He loved it. And I swear I was going to like lose my eyesight from trying to help him navigate drawing and making tiny things. So this book was true to my heart. It says, um, first birthdays, her strength hitting milestones. And she drew that tiny little piece of cake right there. I'll just flip to a couple here. Um, these shoes right there. And then this one says running hard and laughing hard teammates passion. And then this little paint brush right there. This little paintbrush holder it says away space and organized place to work the quiet. And she wrote these at all different times of the night. It's time stamped on every single picture. And the little tiny versions of her illustrations are absolutely beautiful. There's a little baby right there. And this one says medicine, no more fever, catching up on rest. October 5th, 19, um, October 5th, 920 AM. So she time stamped all of these memorable things for her in moments. And I just love that. I love that. It's like a journey through her days. And I think that's really interesting and I love it. So there we have that. Now, my goodness, I have to show you some Halloween stuff that I'm so excited about. Now, this beautiful skeleton mermaid right here, okay? This beautiful skeleton mermaid is actually a repeat buy for me. I had to have two because right now I only have one from last year, but I did pick this up again. And look at the little fin down there. You know, you know, I love this. So I found this mermaid skeleton, picked that up, but then, but then I found these beautiful, um, these beautiful twig garland right here. So I found one with this vibrant red throughout it. And if you can see the sparkles and the shine and everything else, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, deep red. It reminds me of Ariel's hair from The Little Mermaid. There's four feet of this. And what I'm going to do is cut tiny little strands of this and make hair for the skeleton mermaid. So I picked this up in the red 
But then I also picked it up in the purple also. And the purple is stunning too. So I'm hoping that the color is coming across okay. It's a really, really deep, deep purple. And I absolutely love these. I have not seen those in the stores prior. So that's a new thing for me for this year for Halloween. And you know, I love it so much. I found this as well. And I think that these are so cool. I'm not having any Halloween parties like I normally would in all the years prior that I've put on an amazing amount of parties throughout like 17 years of my child's upbringing with family and friends. But if we have a small like dinner party, just us on Halloween night, I think that these will be really fun to put at the table. These are party drink bags, party drink bags. And there's four of them in here and it says that I'm going to take them out of the bag so that you guys can see them so this is them and I think they're so cool I hope that you're seeing this okay it said it says on it blood blood it says blood it says blood and then the other word vampire blood that is what it says Okay, now we got it. Now we got it. It's probably saying it backwards, to be honest with you. I was holding it upside down, but this is what it says, vampire blood. Put some uh, fruit punch in there and set it at the dinner table at the place settings. I think this is so, so awesome. Another new product I've never seen before. So you just unscrew the cap and there you go. These are really cool. So I picked that up. You know, if you've been here with me for a while, we are Halloween celebrating people. We just absolutely love it. And then we found this. And I thought that this was the coolest. Absolutely the coolest. It's a spider and it's that metallic like iridescent look. I think he is amazing. And this is another new product that I have not seen in years past. So I thought that he would be really cool to situate right next to the mermaid with her hairdo that I'm gonna make on her beautiful head. I might even make her like an outfit, you know, to cover her top, maybe put a necklace on her, um, you know, put a little barrette in her hair with a little starfish in it and um, doll her up and make her really look like a mermaid. So I thought that that was really awesome. Found that and was happy. And then not that I don't, I really don't need any more oven mitts, pot holders, or decorative hand towels for my stove front to decorate with, but how could I leave this? And we know that the gnomes are starting to phase out like that run of gnome everything at the Dollar Tree. And that is truly okay with me because the gnomes and the red truck moment has been going on for a while. So it's time to move on to other things. But this was too cute for words. So this is the whole scene right there of the wizards and look at there's Frankenstein in there. I think he's dressed up as a cat, a witch, a mummy, and they're all gnomes standing around the cauldron. I just think that that is so sweet and cute. There's a crescent moon up above. Really, really awesome. It says treat or uh, trick or treating with my gnomies. And that is a common saying that they've put on a lot of products, but it's still cute when it, you put it together like this. Really, the colors are so bright and vibrant. And then I got the pot holders, and I think that they are adorable. And the pot holders always come two to a pack. So this is what they look like. And I love them so, so very much. So I had to grab them. I do have a couple more Halloween things that I can't wait to show you. I found this crescent moon one right here, and I really, really love this. Anything like the moon shape, uh, I just, I'm obsessed with it. I have hair clips of the moon shape. I have earrings with the moon shape. I love the crescent moon shape. This says, welcome Halloween with the witch and the bats flying through the moon. 
So I think that that's amazing. And I love the shimmer and sparkles throughout the images. So really, really, really a beautiful sign. And it has this little ribbon right here for hanging purposes. So I picked that up. Then I grabbed a candy corn. And how could I not? Because honestly, the candy corn never gets old. This right here is just adorable. It's a sweet candy corn. And we've talked about it in years past. If For those of you that have been here with me for a while, I like candy corn. So, And I like to decorate with it. So I had to get it. It has this little bow that's kind of just like up in the corner. I'm probably going to embellish it a little bit more. Put like a center to it so that it holds the bow open and doesn't flap over. It says trick or treat on the candy corn. And I think it's adorable. And there's the little string the little ribbon to be able to hang it up. So I think that that is too cute for words. Now, I did pick these up right here because while my husband's away, my son works all day, then he goes to school in the evening. I am going to do whatever I can to try to get that refrigerator organized. <laughs> I need help in my refrigerator. My refrigerator is always a mess. No matter how many times I've tried to organize it, keep it together, pull it together, get them to put things back where they're meant to be, according to me and my liking, I can't seem to get that fridge to do anything but explode into a million different directions with things dumped all over the place. I have to clean that thing every day almost. So I picked these up. And I really, really like the shape of these and the size of them. So I'm going to try to use the top shelf to gather all the cold meat, all the cheese in one of these. I'm going to try to gather, I got three of these all together right here. And this is from the Essentials brand. This is a drawer organizer. And this one, does it say measurement? This one is the 9.75 inch by 6.75 inch. So this one, and it has this rubber gripping in the middle so that things don't slide. Maybe if you put bottles inside and stuff, it will grip it so it won't slide around in it. So I picked it up. I liked the white color and I like that it has the little stands on the bottom. So I'm going to just really try to get the top row organized with cream cheeses, butters, and the other ones, like I said, I picked up three of them to go straight across and try to keep the things inside instead of just rolling all over the place. I got ham on the top shelf, cheese on the bottom shelf. I got things all over, the cream cheeses in the back somehow of the refrigerator and I can't find it. Then I think I don't have it and I go out and buy more. Unless I pull everything out every day, things get lost in there. It's like a black hole. <laughs> so I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to try to do something to get it to stay the way that I need it to function. So now, and then I picked this up. I picked this up because while I'm going over the refrigerator for another shot, at organizing it, I did pick up the shelf liner. So this one is quick cover by contact. This is adhesive covering. It's a shelf and drawer liner, washable and durable, easy to apply and remove. There's 18 inches by one and a half yards inside of this. So this is the one that I chose, but they have many different ones to pick up, um, different looks to them and everything else. I'm going to try to line every single shelf and the two drawers down in the bottom and see if it helps with them noticing spills better. If these are easy to wipe up in the refrigerator, then that would be great. Just wash them down, wipe the shelving and keep the contact paper on there and then replace it when need be because there's plenty in that roll to be able to use it a couple of times. So I'm happy about that as well. I do have more stuff. I'm going to keep going because honestly, I'm lonely. <laughs> okay, let's just tell it like it is around here. I don't have time to be not telling you guys the truth. So it's a long day when I know my husband isn't coming home to me and it makes me super sad. So 
I like to just like hang out and have a fun time talking to everybody and shopping with you guys. So I'll show you these last couple of things and then we'll have a quick chat at the end. I picked up this right here. I love the eight pack. I haven't found this and this has been on my wish list, honestly, for so long because I really always just look for the eight, the eight pack of the um, glue sticks. There is normally a four pack, but ta-da, the eight pack is where it's at. I like to collage. My crafting is like, is just, you know, it's, it's definitely on the road. I'm crafting like every day and there are some projects that I want to get done and I need some glue sticks for it. So I stumbled upon these and I was happy about it. So this is the Jot brand and it says, um, acid free glue sticks, photo safe and washable. So there they are right there, these magical eight pack right there. And I think that that is a great price for $1.25 because I look at the school supplies and I used to buy things for like 50 cents, 12 cents, 17 cents from Walmart. And I do not see those prices anymore for the back to school supplies. So the Dollar Tree is always going to seem to give me exactly what I need. Then I picked these up right here and I love these. I've bought these multiple times throughout the hands of time. These are permanent markers. There's eight in there. And I love that they give you all the colors. So they have like all the colors of the rainbow in here. They have the red, the orange, yellow, the green, the blue, the purple. They have a brown and they have a black in there. And these work amazingly, amazingly well. These are a bullet tip. So picked these up and I picked those up so that I could actually color little birdhouses while my husband's gone for a craft. Instead of painting them, I am going to dress them up with a little marker and do some designs on it, make some like roofing and shingles and stuff and just put a little bit more detail to it than painting it. So I picked up this wooden birdhouse right here. I also picked up the one with the little heart cut out in it and love, absolutely love that one so much. I've been having so much fun doing my wood crafting and painting and things like that. So I definitely love to pick up more when I see cute things to work with. And I picked up this one. So I got all three that were offered that day that I went and found these. And now, last but not least, I will show you these things as the end of Happy Dollar Tree Hall. I found this sign right here and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love the gingham, the orange and white gingham in the background. I love the wooden frame. The look to it is like a grainy grayish look which is really nice I'm gonna take the plastic off excuse moi um, just so that you guys don't see the the sheen on it and maybe you can see it you know a little bit better so it's like a really nice grayish grayish grainy look to the background and I love 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 this sign it says gather together with the little pumpkin patch right there I think that this is beautiful there's the hanging mechanism and um there was two other ones to choose from but this one was certainly my favorite so that's the one that I picked up and then I picked up some cookie cutters and I had to get both packages that I found because they had special things in it that I cannot wait to use for Thanksgiving. So as you can see, the top ones are both the same. This one has the acorn in it. This one has a pumpkin shaped, but this one has a turkey cut out for a cookie and this one has a squirrel. So I love the turkey and the squirrel so much. I think that they are absolutely amazing. I would have definitely paid $1.25 anywhere else for a turkey and for a squirrel sold individually. I think that that is going to make cookies so fun to decorate for Thanksgiving 
and it makes me super happy to do creative things. So I definitely wanted to grab those to do that with during that time frame. So that is it. That is it. Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul again. Hi, I'm Callan. If you're new here, please stick around and stay. Watch one of my other videos that have better quality than this laptop <laughs> before you decide to stay if you want. Um, I love to be here with you guys. This is my happy, joyful place, and I am so happy to be here all the time and talk to you guys in the comments below afterwards and all the amazing things that I do to connect with everyone. Um, and so this hopefully will be the only video that I will have to record this week on the laptop and share with you guys. Hopefully on Saturday, he will be home. Everything will be well, and I will be back to recording my happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul on his cell phone device and posting it, you know, from his end of the deal. He is my backup, my, my partner in crime, and he helps me through this whole journey here on YouTube. So I love my husband so incredibly much and I miss him, miss him, miss him. I know I've said that already. <laughs> so hopefully this will be the only video. And other than that, I love being here. So thank you guys for being here with me too. I hope that you all have an amazing, wonderful week. If you want to stick around, that would make me super duper happy. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and it is just the most joyful time of my week connecting with everybody. So it makes me happy to do it. Um, and I hope you guys all go and continue your days happy, healthy, and strong, loved, and blessed, and always kind to one another. And I hope that I will see you on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Hall, bright and shiny from his camera roll. <laughs> so that's it. He's in Ohio. I'm going to wait here patiently until he comes home. My son comes home in the evening and then I can rest a little bit knowing that he's home. He's working really hard, doing really, really well in school in the evening. He's managing everything nicely. I'm so proud of him. And um, other than that, I'm just hanging out here with my little puppy pants and loving on her, cleaning and organizing my house and going to my jobs a little bit every day and then hanging out with my beautiful family here. So that's what's going on over here. Yes, if you are from Ohio, let me know. And I will let Richie know. He he did ask me. He was like, how many people do you know live in Ohio? And I'm like, you know what? I think there's quite a few actually, but I don't know an actual to total. He's actually in Miamisburg, Ohio. So if you're anywhere near that, that is where my husband is at for the next few. And um, his name is Richie. So give him a holler. <laughs> Say hi to him for me and a hug would be nice because I miss him. <laughs> so that's it. I love you guys and I will see you in a few days. Have a beautiful and amazing day. And I will talk to you guys in the comments down below in just a little bit. Bye everyone.